But you don't see me in my trailer when I have rough days, and I go back and I'm like, fuck! I, I Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some amazing new news. I meant to make this video yesterday, but I ran out of time. I'm actually flying to LA tomorrow, and so I'm going to try and maybe make a few videos over the next few days. But when I'm in LA, I will have my recording equipment and everything, because we are getting the Comic-Con trailers on Saturday. Super, super excited for that. I'm going to be in the panel. I'm allowed to record 15 minutes of the panel. I've got all my recording equipment, my mic equipment, so fingers crossed I can get those out. I can record 15 minutes of each panel, so that's like The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, and whatever other panels you guys are interested in. I'll be sure to record it and upload it on the channel, but definitely Supergirl, The Flash, and Arrow. Those are the main ones. So yeah. Let's talk about this, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, Melissa was at a gaming event the other day, and it was to play Apex Legends, Kevin Smith was there, it was a bunch of celebrities, Melissa was really the biggest celebrity right there. Also, Jay Muse was there, you know, he's friends with Kevin Smith. He actually, funnily enough, cameoed in one episode of The Flash, the first one that Kevin Smith directed which was the runaway dinosaur so just a nice shower right there but anyway so we found out through an interview and i will be playing some clips at the end of this video because i was able to record some of the gameplay from melissa playing so i thought maybe some of you guys who missed the stream would want to see that i'm going to put some clips at the end and i'll put part of that interview at the end but there was an interview between kevin smith and melissa talking about lots of stuff, some amazing stuff, talking about Melissa's wedding, talking about Chris, and they actually have a framed picture of mon and Kara flying in the air together. I just thought that was really exciting, and just, you know, it's nice to hear that they have fond memories of shooting all of that, because we do, certainly. But anyway, so the big thing that was revealed in that very same interview was that Melissa as Supergirl, is getting a new costume this season. She 100% confirmed it, she was talking about it, and basically the big change will be that she will have pants, as Americans say, which is not pants like us English people say, so trousers or leggings. It's probably leggings, that's probably what they're going to go for. But anyway, so this is very exciting that they are, you know, changing the suit because the suit's always been the same. So what I'm thinking right now and lots of you guys have been sending in photos of, you know, comic trips with Supergirl actually having pants, as Americans say. And I really like this one on the screen right now. Lots of you guys have been sending this in. You get to see Supergirl. She's got the pants, but also her cape sort of goes into a dress. I kind of like that, how it comes out of there. And she doesn't necessarily have a normal cape. I really like this suit, and I think this would be a cool way to do it. Change up the suit. Although I love the suit, I think it's the best suit on the CW, I really think this could be cool, and so I'm very optimistic, obviously it could be bad, it could be, you know, just nowhere near as good as the original suit, but for now, I like this concept, and I'm looking forward to it, and I'm just happy that Melissa has confirmed something this big, and she didn't even wait to Comic Con, maybe she was supposed to, but I'm not sure, but... Mainly what she said it was, and what Kevin Smith said it was, is because they shoot in Vancouver, that's in Canada, and it gets very cold, you know, from the fall, autumn, as us English people say, until, you know, the end of winter, which is, you know, February, March time even. So it gets very cold for most of the year whilst they're shooting, and so she's having to go out on the street, she's in a skirt, she you know has some boots on and that's about it so she's very very cold and she's been actually trying to get pants as they say for a very long time just due to the fact that it's the shooting conditions so i'm hoping that with the change due to the shooting conditions they actually make it an inspired change to make it a suit that looks really cool rather than just for practical purposes, you know, get rid of the skirt, or they could keep the skirt but have the leggings underneath, I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope it's something that they have considered, 
and the design looks good and I really do hope it is and I really look forward to that. So right now, I don't believe that as of right now she's going to have that new suit but she's going to probably get it in like episode 2 or 3 or something like that. But yeah, okay so let's move on to talk about the next thing and so this is coming from like a clipping from a newspaper article or like I'm not sure where it's coming from but this is what it says. Any plans for the 100th episode yet? So this is talking to Jessica Queller, the showrunner of the show, or one of the showrunners of the show. She says, characters may reappear, previews Queller. While Rovner notes, we want to treat the fans to an episode that serves the show's past. So that is a little scoop, and this is very, very exciting, because they want to serve the show's past and characters may reappear. Obviously, may is the definitive word, so potentially not. But if you look at the Flash and Arrow's 100th episode, they brought back so many different people, so many massive faces. So if you go back and look at the main characters who have impacted the show, you've got Cat Grant, you've got Monel for sure. He was the main focus for two seasons. Cat Grant was a big focus in season one. And then I would say those two are the main ones, but then obviously you have Win, who is a massive one who's definitely bigger than both of those. So Win, Monel, Cat, they're the main ones. And then if you're going to the ones who had impact, but you know, not as impact as those three because they were massively prominent, I would go Maggie, and then maybe you would go, you know, some of the smaller characters who are liked by fans and just so happened to not actually stay on so like Maxwell Lord and a few other people like that so that's what I think she is previewing and I think that's what Robert's previewing as well that they want to treat the fans as he says with an episode that serves the show's past so I reckon they're going to do their best and due to the fact that Chris actually lives with Melissa in Vancouver for most of the year I'm guessing yeah, Monel is going to return, or they're definitely going to try and get Monel to return because, you know, he's pretty much there and he could definitely spare some time. So I'm pretty optimistic that Monel is going to return. Not so optimistic that, you know, Maggie or any of the other characters are going to return. I think Win and Kat are going to return. I think they will make the move to come back, but I don't know about Maggie and the other ones. I would really like her to return and some of the other guys. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't see Maxwell Law returning. But anyway, so let's move on to the next bit. And this is, again, from the same article. So the question is, what's with John's twin, Malafaic? And in reply to that, they say, Malafaic is the Martian who wiped out his and John's species. Thanks to the Monitor, played by LaMonica Garrett, who brought Malafaic to Earth in the finale, we'll be getting what Rovner calls a very Shakespearean alien battle that will test John and factor into the Arrowverse's next shakeup, Crisis on Infinite Earths, this fall. Malafaic is the gauntlet John needs to go through before he's ready to face Crisis. So this is really interesting. So yeah, he's probably going to be the main villain for the first part of the season. And like it says in the interview, the alien battle between John and his brother his twin brother Malafaic, who has finally arrived, is going to actually factor in to Jean getting prepared for Crisis. And so this is part of the Monitor's plan to prepare, you know, Jean, but I guess Supergirl as well and some of the other people on her Earth to face an enemy who wiped out an entire race. And so that is what the Anti-Monitor is doing, but on an even bigger scale. So yeah, this is definitely a task and definitely a challenge that is going to be faced and it will play into the crisis crossover which is very exciting and it's what I expected so it's great to get confirmation that basically yeah he's the main villain for the first half of the season but I don't know if it's going to be just specifically Jean I feel like it's going to be Supergirl as well I feel like it's going to be a show wide villain rather than just like a single thing that Jean has to deal with himself Okay, so moving on to the last thing. So this was a few days ago, and I'm not actually sure where it was, but someone, a producer on the show, actually tweeted out on Twitter, and if I can find it, I will link it in the description below. Oh yeah, it's Jay Farber. He's a writer and producer on Supergirl. That's him. So he said, got to see the Supergirl Season 5 trailer that's playing at Comic-Con, and it is amazing. 
So I just thought I would bring that up to show you guys that they have cut the trailer, they have got it ready, and so it's most likely going to be episode 1 footage, maybe a little bit of episode 2 footage, but a lot more than last year, because there was barely any last year. So yeah, get ready for that, super excited, I will be at Comic Con, I'm leaving tomorrow to go to LA and then San Diego the day after, so really excited for that, I'm going to be there, Paigey's going to be there, Eric's reloaded, and hopefully, if you guys go in there, please be sure to say hi, I'll be around all week long at Comic Con, and I will be making videos once the trailers come out, so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys later, goodbye. Uh, now, Supergirl's gone on many adventures, but the biggest adventure that she's about to face off camera is marriage soon? Yes. When's that happening? Soon. There's a, there's a guy, she's got this sweet dude, Chris Wood, man. He's the absolute he best. He is the best. Um, you guys are an adorable couple. And they met in Super World. Yeah. yeah. Both and you directed you directed one of our episodes. I did, and I remember we thinking, flew like, together. They got, they've got such great chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> you know we have a picture of ourselves flying together as mon -El and Supergirl framed, and it's, it's pretty unique. Not man. many people can say that. Um, Supergirl <laughs> gonna get married, man. At that point, do you demand to be called Superwoman, for heaven's sakes? I guess. Super, <laughs> super mistress? <laughs> super matron. Never mistress. Um, we're oh. Yeah, what the hell? We're going to... How bizarre. The girl of steel, for heaven's sakes, ladies and gentlemen. My hand was in the wrong <laughs> and that, Oh, they're trying to show her shirt. That was it. Oh. Boy, they went too low. It's a Supergirl shirt. Oh, your friends. they're trying to show the ring. Oh, right. Go like this so they the stop shooting your crop. Cool <laughs> show your ring, for heaven's sakes. There it is, proof positive. They were looking all around for it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what an awkward moment. We should probably listen to some music from Jaina, shouldn't we? I'm, redeem I'm Sequisha? To, I'm, of course I'm gonna redeem Sequisha. We've got this. You, you, I feel like you've got the weakest yeah. streamer with zero kills. It's all actually gonna be on you and our next Twitch Prime member. More That's, of that coming up. I wish you wouldn't tell me that. You could, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, give it up, Melissa Benoist. Her, particularly, she works long hours because her name's right on the show title. Like, it's called Supergirl, so she's in almost every scene. Why, where's that come from? Good breeding? Like, I guess, uh, yeah, my mom probably, I would have gotten a spanking if I, if I wasn't nice. Right. <laughs> but you don't see me in my trailer when I have rough days, and I go back and I'm like, I, I, <laughs> I have seen you at your absolute, like, worst, and your worst is, like, most people's best. Like, <laughs> it really is, like, oh, shucks. Like, you know. Water <laughs> Krypton, man. Melissa Benoist. Um, you... Uh, are such a popular gamer that you were chosen <laughs> last. They saved the best for last, and then you got picked by uh, Sequisha, I believe it was. Yes, Sequisha. Um, <laughs> I can't even get my sentence out because I'm so embarrassed about my gameplay. Is it is it embarrassing because, like, you know, on the show, everything you do is perfect and you're good at everything, <laughs> and then you come here and in real life they're like, she's not super at all. <laughs> yeah. More girl than super. The truth. <laughs> More girl than super. <laughs> I'm not good at video games, and I was always picked last in G PE, too. I d just believe that. You're, what is normally your game? You seem like a Mario Kart. I'm, I'm a Mario person. I just finished Odyssey. I'm a Kingdom Hearts. Oh, my God. I need Kingdom a good Hearts. story. Oh, that's adorable. I need a it's good, like, I need some, like, some, a journey. I need an Odyssey to go on. Well, they're changing it finally. Is that right? This is exciting for Melissa. Like, if you've ever seen the costume, it's fantastic, but it's got this skirt. And she got bare legs. And we shoot up in Vancouver. And it's and freezing cold. It's freezing cold, and there are a lot of night shoots. So, yeah. like, they'll hang her up from a harness over a bridge, and, you know, it's like 50 degrees and then dropping to 30. And I'm swaying and in the she's wind. She's swinging, and she's wearing, like, <laughs> no, nothing on her legs or anything like that. So, it's nice that they're finally putting some pants on you. Last season, yeah. when you were, you played two roles you were Supergirl and you were also Red Daughter, yeah. the Russian Supergirl. They ha gave her an outfit with full pants, yeah, and they made some pants. sort of line about it, and I was like, I bet you this she is how Melissa finally gets pants. <laughs> I'd been gunning for it for a long time. Well, especially because I feel like Supergirl is so sunny and optimistic, and she's always fighting for what's right. I, d I don't think it would be Supergirl if we didn't feel that. Energy.